Yesterday, the Coast Guard Cutter North Wind came back into port, coming through the ice buildup on the bay, escorting the fuel supply ship USS Yukon. The port officials have asked us to remind everyone that visits the dock, smoking is not permitted there due to fuel vapors that could collect in the area. Meantime yesterday, the Thule Regatta hit the ways of Lake Spottom here on base, sporting some of the finest racing and pleasure craft to ever hit the waters of that Arctic inland waterway. This year, there were four entries. However, only three participated in the race. The SS Precarious came across the finish line and into the marina first, captained by Major Randy Woods. On the crew was Sergeant Joyce Marquardt, Lars Larson, and Yvonne Hummel. The Precarious represented Debt 3. What do you owe your success to? Muscles. Very, very hard, strong muscles. We took care of the old uh, Sergeant Lord and Boss Moss and everyone else there. No problem at all. Hey, Going well, around that triangle. <laughs> <laughs> The Leisure Drifter, masterfully captained by Master Sergeant Wayne Lord, docked in the Harbor Second. Master Sergeant Roger Leho and Master Sergeant Rick Chris manned the other oars on the boat, while Senior Master Sergeant Les Boss Moss ran the sound system for the less than ocean going vessel and provided limited navigational assistance. We only had two push poles, they had four. Well, what happened? Why didn't you have four? Well, the Leisure Drifter is designed for leisure, you know? And when the challenge was out, there was nothing we could do but put forth our best effort. And uh, with only two poles, you know, you only need two poles just to drift around and control we had a your problem with direction. coordination out there, too. Yes. Well, there was slight problems. Yeah, there, going yes. in circles and stuff. Yeah. He had to work, but couldn't get there for the race, but he certainly put some work into the craft. Benny Sorensen had the only one person craft, complete with a smokestack and smoke to keep his dinner warm. However, the funniest watercraft on Lake Spottom was the one from the 1983rd Communication Squadron. Tech Sergeants Elaine Hammond and Ron Hush kept this vessel afloat for as long as possible. What was the secret to your <coughs> success, Elaine? The captain of the ship. <laughs> the captain of the ship, what did he do? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Well, we want to thank our pit crew and especially our design engineer, Rick Cunningham, standing right over there. He's the one that put the raft together. We're going to get him later. It was obvious before they pulled out of port they were going to run into trouble. Either that or they were going to check the aquatic life on the lake's bottom. to the support given to the RAF contest by MWR, there was a good crowd on hand for the event. 